Gorham Agard, Slas Concorder. My colleague, Deputy Quaven O'Quailon, has uh, comprehensively dealt with the uh, statewide picture, so I intend to focus my comments as a TD for Donegal North East on uh, our local hospital, Letterkenny General Hospital. Minister, you will know that it is not that long ago that 15,000 people gathered in a county uh, that before that was not renowned for massive public protest. And they gathered in the pouring rain looking for equality in cancer care, looking for services to be upgraded in the region and the full spectrum of cancer care to be provided. That campaign was led by women uh, who had moved to Donegal from Scotland, from Belfast and from Monaghan, uh, respectively. And they had, uh, by their own personal experiences and their own determination, inspired thousands of others, and their campaign has been successful. And we thought that that would be the beginning of a new dawn for healthcare in Donegal. We thought that, at last, the needs of the people in that county and that region that have been neglected for so long would now begin to be addressed comprehensively. But to our horror, we have watched the debacle over the extension to Letterkenny Hospital unravel into a farce whereby the builders who were awarded the contract, McNamara Construction Limited, were closed down by NAMA, and so, in turn, were the subcontractors who had carried out the work in Letterkenny Hospital, but most importantly, the people who had waited so long for the proper, adequate A&E facilities and the modern facilities in the wards above uh, and the floors above. That project will now have been delayed by a year. But even when it comes on board, because of cutbacks in the HSE, <coughs> wards will be closed in the existing hospital, and not one new bed in a three-storey building additional, not one new bed will have been created. That is a damning indictment of how we run our health services. Absolutely damning indictment. Bad enough that we had to wait over a year longer after decades of waiting for proper facilities, that now when it comes, what we will have is just a nicer environment to work in, no actual new capacity. So what's the impact of this? Two minutes left. The impact of this is that we have people on trolleys on a regular basis in our A&E, and no doubt that won't change when the new building finally comes online. We have outpatient uh, clinics cancelled on a regular basis. We have elective surgery. This is the impact of the cutbacks and the impossible budgetary demands placed on the staff and team at that hospital. We have ongoing suspension of elective surgery, where people who are crippled with pain, mostly elderly people, have to wait long periods for basic operations. We have consultants who are paid huge amounts of money sitting around twiddling their thumbs, and they've said this publicly. They don't need me to say that. They've said it publicly. We have a ridiculous situation. We now understand that because of the failure that has been long warned to appoint uh, junior doctors, that the continuation of the 24-hour A&E service at Letterkenny is in real threat. And we await clarification when the junior doctors will be appointed and what is the permanent solution there. So what we have is the real downgrading of critical services to that hospital. The comparison of that hospital with hospitals that service a much smaller area. And we have the morale, and this is the most important point, the morale of quite often our heroic staff at the front line sapped on an ongoing basis, where they just don't know what to do with themselves, with the pressure and the impossible demands put at them uh, within this system. So this motion implores you, Minister, and implores your colleagues who campaigned on change, who appealed to the real desire of the Irish people for a new beginning after the crisis that we have endured. It appeals to you to do the right thing. It appeals to you to find the resources to honour the commitments that you made. It appeals to you to 
not neglect regions of this state and this island that have been neglected for far too long. It appeals to you to give people the health service that they deserve and that they pay their taxes for.